So this dish in Vietnam is called mực nướng satay, which means grilled squid with satay chili sauce. My name is Min. I'm the owner of Pho Ba Vietnamese Kitchen at 545 Degrees Ban Mi Cafe in Davie. A lot of people have known us through 545, but here we're introducing our new concept, a new restaurant, a sit down. Uh, it's wonderful, it's featuring a lot of Vietnamese home cooked meals and home cooked dishes. Uh, one of those home cooked dishes that we're gonna present today is a uh, grilled squid dish. Think about this as uh, a grilled calamari. It's not breaded and it's not dipped in marinara sauce. Uh, this is in a chili sauce and Vietnam being a coastal country, seafood is a very, very big part of our culture and our cuisines. Uh, so you're gonna see a few more dishes of seafood and fish uh, also featured at Phở Bò Vietnamese Kitchen. Uh, and this is one of the, our great appetizers that I'm gonna show you today, how to make it at home. So let me show you really quick what we have in front of us. So we have our satay chili sauce, oyster sauce, sugar, and fish sauce that would make our marinade for our squid. Now that all the ingredients are combined, make sure you give it a well mix. You don't need a lot of marinade for the squid because you want to actually taste the squid itself and you don't want to overpower the squid with the flavors. You want the seafood flavor to shine through to any sauce you want to put on it. So now our marinade is already uh, done. Let's add it to a squid. Uh, I'm gonna do it a little different. I'm gonna add the marinade onto the plate itself uh, because we want to make sure that we rub this in um, so that the squid is well covered, okay? And the thing with squid is that you have a little bit open cavity in here. Put some marinade in there too, okay? That way your food tastes well balanced, it's not seasoned in one place and not seasoned in the other place. So you want to make sure that all the seasoning goes in and it's, uh, it's locked in and it becomes a part of your cooking. And that's what great Vietnamese cooking is, is the balance, the texture, uh, not just one dimensional, never one dimensional. Now that our squid is uh, nicely marinated, we're about to put it on the grill and I wish you were here to smell what's on the grill. Make sure our grill is uh, nice and hot. I wish you were here to smell this because it is phenomenal. The fragrance, the chili, everything is coming through and it is amazing. This would go really good with an IPA or wheat beer. Now that it has uh, shrunk up a little bit, it means we can go ahead and flip them. If you don't want to overcook these, it tends to be tougher once you overcook them. So people who like it well done can leave it on here for a little while. So that way um, you have a nice firmer texture. So we're pretty much done with our grill. Let's see this wonderful grill mark that's on it. We're gonna go ahead and put it on our cutting board. It's still very hot, so let's put a little thong here. Give us a little assistant in cutting. Now you recognize what it looks like, right? Little rings of calamari. We can go ahead here and take one of our nice lettuce leaf. I'll spread on. Okay, I'm gonna plate another one. So the sauce that you're gonna go with this um, is a chili lime sauce. And the key ingredients one of this is fresh lime leaves. It smells fantastic. With a wedge of lime on the side, go ahead and add a squeeze of limes in here. Give this mixture a good mix. So it has the chilies, the lime, the salt and pepper, and the fresh lime leaves. And we also serve it with a Vietnamese coriander. Uh, this in Vietnamese is called rau ram. So I hope to see you at the restaurant soon and enjoy the dish if you're making them at home.